everyone this is Ekatna here so in this video we are going to see a problem from circles so let's get started problem if the circle x square plus y square plus ax plus by minus 12 equals to 0 has the center at point 2 comma 3 then find a comma b and the radius of the circle okay if the circle has the center we are given a circle and its center then we have to find the unknown values a and b and the radius of this circle okay solution given circle is x square plus y square plus ax plus by minus 12 equals to 0. Consider it as equation number 1. And also we are given that 1, 1 is nothing but circle has the center at 2 comma 3. Okay. So here we have to find A, B and R. Okay. We are given a circle. X square plus Y square plus AX plus BY minus 12 equals to 0. And also the circle has its center at 2 comma 3. Here we are asked to find A, B values and radius. Okay, fine. Now, compare given circle equation or given circle x square plus y square plus ax plus by minus 12 equals to 0 with equation of the circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0. Here you can equate the quotient of x, quotient of y and these constants. Fine. So, firstly, we'll equate the quotient of x. We have 2g equals to a. From this, you'll get g equals to a by 2. Now, equate the quotient of y. 2f equals to b. From this, you'll get f equals to b by 2. Now, equate the constants. You'll get c minus 12. Okay. So, from this, we can find the center, right? Since we know that center c, h, comma, k is equals to minus g, comma, minus f. So, you're having g and f values, right? So, minus of a by 2 is your x coordinate of center and minus of f is minus b by 2 is your y coordinate of the center. From the hypothesis, we have center 2 comma 3 and we got the center minus a by 2 minus b by 2. So, we will equate these two centers. Since Since we are given that we are given C 
सेंटर इज एट टू कामा थ्री राइट फ्रॉम द हाइपोथिस राइट बट वी गॉट सेंटर इक्वल टू दिस सो दीज टू सेंटर्स मस्ट बी इक्वल देर फोर माइनस ए बाई टू कामा माइनस बी बाई टू equals to 2 comma 3 now equate the x coordinate and the y coordinate okay you'll get minus a by 2 equals to 2 and minus b by 2 equals to 3 so from this you'll get minus a equals to 2 to the 4 a equals to minus 4 And from this we get minus b equals to two three is a six. Then b equals to minus six. Okay. So therefore, a equals to minus four, and b equals to minus six. Okay. A equals to minus four, and b equals to minus six. Fine. So. What will be the center then? You are having minus a by two comma minus b by two, right? Minus or you are having a equals to minus four comma two. Sorry, by two comma minus of b is minus six by two. So this is equals to minus two minus plus four by two comma minus two minus plus six by two. Is two comma three. Okay, just correct. Fine. Now we'll find radius. We know that. The radius of the circle x square plus y square plus two g x plus two f y plus c equals to zero is square root of g square plus f square minus c, right? So using this formula, we can find the radius. We have R equals to square root of g square plus f square minus c. Now substitute g, f, and c here. You having g equals to a by two whole square plus f is b by two whole square minus c is minus twelve. So minus of minus twelve. Is equals to square root of. Now substitute the a b values. You are having a equals to minus four. So minus four by two whole square plus b is minus six. Minus six by two whole square minus two minus plus twelve. So this is equals to square root of minus four square is sixteen by. Two square is four plus minus six square is thirty six by two square is four plus twelve. Now take the LCM. You get sixteen plus thirty six plus forty eight. So this equals to forty-eight plus sixteen plus thirty-six. Twelve plus eight is twenty. Five plus five is ten. So hundred. Square root of hundred 
by 4. 4 ones are 4 twos are 8, 4 fives are 20. Okay, so this is equals to square root of 25, which is equals to 5. Okay, so therefore r equals to 5. Therefore, r equals to 5. Here we are asked to find a, b and radius, right? Already got a, b values and now we got the value of r which is equals to 5, right? So, let's check this r, whether this r is correct or not. Already we have checked the values of a and b, not a and b, 2 and 3, that is the point, okay. So now we are going to check the radius. If the center is correct, then we can say that a, b values are correct, okay, fine. We know that the equation of circle with center C H comma K and radius R is X minus H whole square plus Y minus K whole square equals to R square. We are given center, right? Center H comma K is already given. Just 2 comma 3. And we are having R equals to 5. So, now substitute these values in this formula. We will get X minus 2 whole square plus Y minus 3 whole square equals to 5 square. From this we will get X square plus 4 minus 4X plus Y square plus 9 minus 3 to the 6 y equals to 25 x square plus y square minus 4 x minus 6 y 4 plus 9 is plus 13 now take this to left hand side you'll get minus 25 okay so 25 Minus 25 plus 13. 25 minus 13 is 12. That is minus 12. We get x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y minus 12 equals to 0. Okay. So here we are going to check r is correct or not. Right. Here you are having minus 4 and minus 6, right? Now compare it with the circle equation x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0. By equating quotient of x and y and c, we will get 2g equals to minus 4, 2f equals to minus 6 and c equals to minus 12. From this you will get g equals to minus 2, f equals to minus 3, c equals to minus 12, right? Now take the formula, g square plus f square minus c, now substitute the values of g, f and c, minus 2 whole square plus minus 3 whole square, minus of minus 12, which is equals to square root of minus 2 square is 4, plus minus 3 square is 9 minus into minus plus 12. So 12 plus 9 plus 4 is 4 plus 2 6, 6 plus 9 15, 1 plus 1 2. 
So this is equals to square root of 25 which is equals to 5. Which means that our R is right. You are having 2G equals to minus 4, 2F equals to minus 6, right? See, if we compare it with the given circle, you have 2G equals to A. Here A is minus 4 and 2F equals to B, B equals to minus 6. Okay, so everything is correct. And also you are having C equals to minus 12. Here we have verified all the values thoroughly. So we can conclude that our A, B and R values are right. Therefore, A equals to minus 4, B equals to minus 6 and radius of the circle is 5. So this completes the problem. Okay. So we have seen a problem from circle in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.